I've got an afternoon tea in about 45 minutes and I need to set up the hut here so there's four people coming for tea um, I need to set up the urn because now we're doing socially distanced teas so we set up all the teas and they kind of help themselves and I set the, all the food up here ready for when they arrive um, minor issue is my roof leaking so there's a nice little puddle on the floor so I'm going to have to do something to sort that out because we don't want uh, water dripping on their heads. So I'm going to have a quick setup, and then I'm going to finish preparing all the food and warm up scones, get everything ready. Right, so I'm just setting up um, knives and forks and teaspoons for cups. I've got these really cute little cake forks, which I love, so I like using those. Um, but all my china is kind of vintage, um, stuff I've bought from auctions, or my mum's bought from auctions, um, and very mismatched, but that's half the fun, I think. So I'm just gonna prep the sandwiches at the moment. They're having, they just want ham, egg mayonnaise, um, and then beef in, roast beef in Yorkshire puddings. Yorkshire puddings are in the oven at the moment and they are cooking nicely. So I normally do like a curry egg mayo and mango chutney. That's a really nice sandwich flavour combination. But um, equally, if somebody doesn't want that, we can just do a standard egg mayonnaise. Um, and then obviously crust, crusts cut off in essential. And then I just feed the crust to my kids because, you know, they love a crust. Just making my egg mayonnaise. Um, if you're wanting to try and like recreate your own afternoon tea at home and you're stuck for some sandwich ideas, um, so I spoke about the curried egg mayonnaise and mango chutney. Sounds a bit gross, but it's really nice. Um, the other one we do is smoked salmon cream cheese. That's nice and easy. I also do a pastrami and cheddar on a brioche, like little brioche one. That's really nice. Um, mozzarella pesto on dried tomato, that's a good one. Um, so beef in Yorkshire pudding with a bit of porch which is nice too. And, but basically, whatever you like, and if you wanna kind of shove some interesting flavors in, then go for it. I baked my scones this morning. There's four raisin and four plain. Um, they're actually made with yogurt. Um, I find they make the best scones. Yogurt or buttermilk. I have got the recipe. I will put it in the description for you. So if you want to have a go at making them. We did a Facebook Live um, on V-Day making the scones. So if you want to go back and you can bake the scones with me, then it's all on our Facebook Live on the Tractors and Cream Facebook page. So I always warm them up. So I'm just going to pop them in just over the top of the Yorkshires um, just to make sure they're nice and warm because it's much nicer having a warm scone. And then I'll start plating up because they're going to be here in about 10 minutes. So, blackcurrant jams in, strawberry jams in, clotted creams in. I'm just going to arrange the sandwiches now. Chocolate brownies. So I made all the cakes this morning. Luckily, it's the clocks go back today, so I had a whole extra hour for baking. So that really, really helped. So I've got chocolate brownies. So I baked these. This is toffee fingers. So again, if anyone wants a recipe for these, just shout. I've also got these. These are um, like individual Victoria sponges. So where am I gonna put those? Oh man, let's find another cake stand. Kick down, kick down, that one will do. Oh, I'm totally running out of room too. So let's pop these. This is just like a Victoria sponge, um, cut in half, cut in a round, and then sandwich with buttercream and jam. So let's have a bit of a rearrange here. I mustn't forget I've got those other bits in the oven. Right, so I need Yorkshire pudding there. I've got horseradish in my little cool cute pot here. And I'll go and grab a scones and then we're done. Right, let's get these nice warm goodies in. 
so the idea with the um, coronavirus social distance tea is that I literally set everything up, it's all ready to go, and then as soon as they're here, they don't need to really have any contact with me because they can make their own tea and just help themselves to their own stuff here. So it works quite well. So there's the, the Yorkshire. So I literally just got the roast beef, rolled it up, just popped it back in the oven to keep warm, and then put some raisin ones on the top right and there we have it so three different types of sandwiches um, or Yorkshire puddings and then two different scones cream jam and three different cakes the teas all set up here I've got a nice selection I've kind of written on my chalkboard wall the different teas that we've got so I've got them all out here anyway and um, Ernie the Urns nice and hot um, and because it's now getting dark, it actually looks really lovely in here with all the fairy lights. Um, you can have a look at one of our previous videos on how we built this and how we did all the fairy lights and the material was absolute mission, but well worth it, I would say, for the effect. And uh, hopefully they will have a really enjoyable tea. So it's just two adults and two children, so they have the whole place themselves, so nice and safe, no issues. And um, yeah, hopefully they will have a lovely time. Oh, I can hear them coming. Gotta go!